I think my dumbest purchases were three Lamborghinis. I've lost over a million dollars on cars. I'm going to tell you guys about the best money I've ever spent and the worst money I've ever spent. Here we go. So I started building my empire from gaming to vlogging because I figured that I had a very interesting life outside of the gaming room where I had an interesting family, my parents were funny, my cousins were funny, and I decided to start vlogging my life and you know doing fun challenges and I actually developed a really, really dope fan base. Shout out to the Rugrats who support me every day and make me feel really, really comfortable. And after transitioning to vlogging, that's where my channel really took off. I started making serious money around the age of 16. It was about a year after I started making YouTube videos and it was really scary to me. I thought it was like fake at first and so did my parents. So I started my YouTube videos with gaming. I was strictly just a gamer and I made about two gaming videos a day. And I would literally just sit in my room all day playing video games, which is what made it unbelievable to make money because back then gaming was seen as like, oh, you're a nerd if you game. But obviously it's different now. And I had to convince my parents so much to let me continue playing and to show them that this money was real. We had to literally call my bank and confirm that the money came through. <laughs> So when I first started making money, my first thought was to give my parents at least 70% of it because I was living with them and I didn't really have expenses. I didn't have a car at the time. I didn't have anything to really pay off. So the one thing I cared about was giving my parents money. And after a few years of saving and you know making videos, I did do a lot of dumb purchases. I think my dumbest purchases were three Lamborghinis, which I don't do anymore. And uh, I definitely turned into a hype beast and bought a lot of designer clothes that I don't do as much anymore. <laughs> so the best financial advice I've ever gotten was from my parents and they always told me to save my money and invest in properties. And I should have stuck with that because about three years ago, I listened to a friend of mine who begged me and convinced me to invest into this random app. And I invested a quarter million dollars, $250,000 into this app. A month later, the guy just disappeared. My money was gone. And I was like, wow, that, I'm never doing that again. I trusted my friend, but I didn't trust the guy obviously running the app. The property will go up in value over time. And you know, when I'm 40, 50, I'm gonna have those paid off and I will be chilling. So we do more than just gaming now. We have a ton of parts to phase. Like we have the music side, we have the gaming side still, of course, we have the entertainment side and we have a ton of athletes in phase, such as Ben Simmons, you know, Juju Smith from the Steelers, Brawny, actually LeBron James' son, just joined FaZe. And it's literally turned into a lifestyle. It's like a culture. We want FaZe to be seen as not just gaming, but this worldwide culture that I think we're doing a pretty good job at. And you know, we also have rappers in FaZe, like Offset joined FaZe. Cardi B surprised them with a FaZe chain, which is pretty dope. And I think we're just gonna keep going up to the top and take over the world. Making a scary movie was a dream of mine. Actually, just making a movie in general, but scary was in my realm because I love making scary YouTube videos. So when I was pitched to do a scary movie, I was like, oh yes, no questions asked. Just, I wanna make a scary movie. And then I found out the director was Greg Plotkin, which he actually did Paranormal Activity. He edited Get Out. He edited um, Happy Death Day. Like he's worked on really big films. So I was like, this is actually gonna be legit. And you know, we filmed it in three weeks, 12 hour production days. And I think it personally turned out really, really well. The movie itself comes out on the 29th, but I can't really say too much about it. It's just, just expect some maybe scary clowns in it. <laughs> 
So I plan on continuing to buy more property and investing in my YouTube channel because every video that I make is an investment. So the more you spend on your YouTube videos, the higher quality you get and then the more viewers you're attracted. I haven't really talked about this on my YouTube channel, but I own 11 properties as of now and I learned that that's the best investment you could ever possibly go to and I'm just really excited to keep building that empire. My advice to all the young people out there trying to make money is to do what you love. If you love streaming, give it a shot. It's not going to happen overnight, just like my success didn't happen overnight. And a lot of people's success doesn't happen overnight. But I actually see a lot of TikToks that people are streaming. And, you know, it's always good to share your content on other social media and that could potentially bring you new viewers and if you love making youtube videos make a youtube channel be yourself make fun videos and never listen to what people have to say because i was doubted a lot as a kid especially in high school when i was gaming everyone was telling me stop gaming but look at where we are today and i followed my dreams and eight years later we're at 17 million subscribers baby <laughs> my secret to financial success is to save your money literally save it even if you want to spend some money put half of the money you make into a separate bank account and forget about it pretend you didn't make that money and let it stack up every single month and three years from now you will see a big chunk in your bank account and of course help your family out if they need it because that's that's the greatest gift my slogan when it comes to money is don't buy three Lamborghinis because it is not good and I've lost over a million dollars on cars, all right? And I think after all this, I'm not gonna buy any more Lambos. Thanks for watching. Now you know my secret to financial wellness.